Adam from 2620 is active. Uh, today we will discuss about ultimate cooperators. And um, before we go to our discussions, uh, if you like my videos, please comment and share. And if you are new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, so, uh, ultimate cooperators uh, in Java. Uh, includes um, addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division and modulo and we will see how we use them um, in the uh, Java programming uh, using our NetBeans ID. So let's go uh, there and do our exercises. Uh, let's close this project and let's create a new one for operators. Okay. So here we have got. <coughs> the basic infrastructure for our exercise let's comment out this one so to practice our uh, arithmetic operators let's first define variables okay. let's say a is equals to 5 b is equals to 5 and C so here uh, we declared our three variables A defined to be 5 B defined to be 5 and C so to use the first arithmetic operator which is addition um, let's say C is the result of adding a and B so we expect C to be um, 10 C is so we do like that so we expect C to be 10 okay see our output here so c is 10 now we can use the addition arithmetic operator in um, some other uh, uh, syntax for example we can say let's say c is equals to c plus a so here um, we forgot the equal to sign here so here this statement says that takes the value of c add the value of a on the value of c and assign the result back to c so as we have said a plus b is 10 and c is 10 so when we add the value of a to c we expect the value of c to be 15 now okay so we can do this one and see the result so here we added a and b the result is 10 now when we add a on c it is 15 and the other way that we can do this addition is uh, with augmented assignment of C. Let's say C plus is equals to um, A. And let's paste this output again. So here this statement and this statement are similar in their output. So this one says add A to the value of C and assign back to C. 
this one also is a short form for this one and it says add the value of a to c and assign the value to c so we expect this the third output to be 20 okay so the output is 20 now as we have seen the the use of addition we will see the use of subtraction here too the symbol used in java is similar to what we know in our um, regular mathematics um, schooling so here we will say let's say um, b um, is equals to c minus um, a so we get this value the value of b to be c minus a and it's going to be as we have discussed the value of c here is 20 so we subtract 5 from c because the value of a is 5 then we will get the value of b to be um, 15 and the other way that we can use the, the subtraction is like the uh, addition operator let's say first let's print b and see the result now okay now we can use um, the other form where we assign the value of b um, the difference of b and a and back to b now this statement is similar to this one it says subtract the value of a from the value of b and assign that output to b and when we output this one we will get b to be um, uh, 10 and if we do the similar syntax of um, uh, A, this is similar to this one so let's see the output of the two statements and um, we will continue with the other operators okay now b is now 15 and b is now 10 so if we print out for a third time the value of b will be back to 5 okay now the other arithmetic operator we use in Java is multiplication and the symbol for that in Java is the star okay and you'll get the symbol by um, using shift and number 8 you can find it in your keyboard um, so let's say uh, let's declare a new variable and um, Z, which is equal to let's say the product of B and C okay so we'll get the value of B here from here and multiply the value of C from here We can use the syntax as above. Um, now we get the value of z, and we can do z is equals to z times a. This is similar to the previous operations as we have discussed. Multiply the value of z with a, and then assign it back to z.
now we can print out Z again and see the operation <coughs> sorry um, we can also use the other syntax that we have seen before as this one this one is the same as this one okay and so we can look at the values with by running this example now we have got um, the value of z to be 100 okay when we multiply um, b which is 10 and c which is 20 we get 100 and when we multiply z by 5 that is 500 and we assign back the value to z and that's why we get the value of 500 here okay and the operator division is uh, also used in the same manner and the symbol is the forward slash okay so let's say um, d which is equals to z divided by c okay okay now we can also use the syntax that we have discussed before as d is equals to d divided by a so this says that divide the value of d by a and assign the result back to d and when we print out this value okay so this one is also similar with um, um, this one so this is also a valid syntax and the same result will appear here it says the same as this one divide the value of d by a and assign back to d so we will output the two um, statements here and see the output So here we will get uh, the value of z is 100 and then 500. Now d is um, 500 divided by um, 20 and which is 125 and then um, w we divide 125 by a which is 25 okay so if we divide this 25 by a with this statement we will get 5 as we have discussed this statement is divide the value of d divide by 5 which is a value of a and assign it back to d uh, the other basic arithmetic operator which is um, used in, in java is modulo and this is uh, an operator which calculates the remainder of uh, division and the symbol is the percent sign okay so here we can say um, int mm, modulo which is equal to 15 let's say and let's say the um, divider to be n which is equals to 6 and we can say the result to be r so let's comment out this um, um, exercise of ours so that we can have a compilation um, quicker
Okay, this is a multi-line comment. So we commented out the previous ones. So now we can do, um, let's say, R is equals to M modulo um, N. So now we expect the value of R to be um, 3 because uh, 15 divided by 6 is 2 and the remainder is 3. Okay, so And we can also use the syntax as we have discussed previously. Um, let's have the uh, value of R um, modulo N. Okay. Now we expect the value of R to be 3 because 3 divided by 6 is 0 with a remainder of 3. Okay. And um, We can print out the second operation and uh, the a previous example which is modulo is equal to uh, n is also the same as this one and um, we can also have the output of r here and see the result. We expect it to be 3 because the result is 3 in the previous operation and the division is um, as we have discussed before 3 divided by 6 is 0 with a remainder of 3 see the first one 15 divided by 6 2 with a remainder of 3 and then 3 divided by 6 0 with a remainder of 3 3 divided by 6 0 with a remainder of 3 so this all operations can be used as um, um, we uh, develop our programs okay so this concludes our exercise on uh, basic arithmetic operators um, i see you in the next video about bitwise operators